Here we're going to be working on a CCTV that came in today for a broken connector. Customer said the connector broke from this side of the motherboard here and he was asking if we have a similar connector. I told him that we're going to have to look and see if we can find a connector that looks like that. And uh, he then said that he may be able to get a board that shares the same connector and he got us this board here so we can extract that connector from and solder it back on this board. Let me show you how this connector looks like. So basically we're gonna have to desolder the connector from here and solder it back on the motherboard. And of course the tricky part is not to burn it. We have to be able to desolder it in a clean way where we can reuse it. I mean, I'm sure if we look online, we will be able to look at the socket, but I do not know the model number and it's gonna take some time to be able to know exactly which connector this is and we have to take measurements. We do not have to do all this. We have this one to desolder off the board. What I'm going to do is heat up from the bottom so we do not burn the connector. And we have to hold this board vertically like this. Maybe it's time that we use this board holder here. I'm going to lay it down flat like this. Maybe we'll do 430C and let's see how it goes. Looks like it's going to take more heat because the board is thick. Right there. Done. Very nice. So the connector is intact and in excellent condition. Connector is in excellent condition. And now we need to work on this one here. We're gonna prep the board by adding solder onto those pads and we'll solder our connector. So what we're going to do now is disassemble the board so we can heat up the board from the bottom and solder the connector. I do not want to take my chances where we apply heat onto the connector to solder it on and we end up damaging the connector. It's the only one that we have and we have to work this as safe as possible. So I'll be back. And the board is out. Let's go ahead and solder that connector. What we're going to do is use the same procedure. We're going to heat up the board from the bottom and solder the connector from the top. That way we do not risk damaging the connector. This is the only one that we have. And the job is done. Back like factory. Actually, better than factory. That's our motto here. Let's clean up. And let's check the connector under the microscope. Solid, 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 
solid. And let's check the sides. Awesome job. Awesome job. Awesome. And that's the connector that we soldered right here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.